Hello, everybody, and welcome back uh, to the Steampunk Estate. Ba -na -na -ba -na -na -bum -bum. Sorry, the uh, intro is a little stilted. I had something in my throat. <laughs> All right, so we've gotten a couple new characters, some of which I'm going to leave hidden until we've done this upcoming quest. But uh, we've definitely gotten a couple new Farmstead characters, one of which is Ghost the Vessel. I believe that's his canon name, but I don't know. Um, seems pretty good. He is a very, very shuffle-oriented character, um, so I tried to put him in a team that did not mind being shuffled. Um, we also got quite a few of our dead characters back and ready to go, so hopefully they will stay alive, but we'll certainly see. So, I did end up removing Starry Night 2.5. Um, it seemed to be causing quite a few trouble, so unfortunately we will not be using Tall Nut. Um, I'm also really curious about the character from that mod. Uh, dude, I've been looking forward to her for so long. She just looks freaking amazing. But, you know, uh, I don't know if development is defunct on it like i don't know if it's not going anymore or if it's just taking a really long time i don't know um but at the moment we can't really use that mod i don't know if we're just hitting the trinket overflow or what but uh yeah it would just it would crash my game consistently like for example see how the back blacksmith gloves are right here if i hovered my mouse over any trinkets from uh starry night it would just crash the game immediately. So, that seems like a trinket overflow. I didn't think we had that many trinkets, but I guess it makes sense with how many characters we have um, combined with adding that many trinkets. It's not exactly out of the realm of possibilities. Um, now, with that being said, I do want to go to the Miller because I think that'll probably be the best possible spot for us to go. It'll get us nicely into our quest. And yeah, it should also give us quite a few shards. So we're just going to give it a go and see what happens. The Miller still commands his workers. Perhaps if he has defeated, the threat will subside. Yeah, we'll see about that. So, the barrier has been breached. And... Of course, we bring Shatterhorn the Warlord with the husk consuming crystals, Mildred's locket, Horn Rush Sentinel, who's next, and Triumph. We also bring the Botanist with the Azure Blue Ring, the Ancestor's Coat, Bonk, Herbal Infusion, uh, Root Infusion, and Spore Brew. We then, of course, bring Ghost the Vessel with the Victim's Trophy, the Commander's Compass, Nail Strike, Piercing Slash, Vengeful Spirit, and the Dream Nail. And then we finish it off with Chaos the Vigilante, whose abilities I forgot to change. With the Cluster Pendant, the Focus Ring, he is going to have Combo Shot, Anticipation, Wind Up, and Combo Throw. He's basically going to be played ranged this time, because I haven't played ranged with the Vigilante yet, so I'd like to see how that goes. Oh boy. Well, good good starting fight. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> uh, just what I would have wanted. Uh, I'm going to stealth ourselves so that we're not immediately destroyed. Um... I think I am going to go for Nail Strike. 18 damage. That's a max roll. Fire in the hole. That is a stun, I believe. Ow. Attacker. Attacker. Now they're both protected. Maintain formation. Attacker. Attacker. Short burst. Oh. Ha 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 ha. Nothing a repose can't fix. Now, we are going for wind up. And combo throw. Okay, I was hoping for a crit, but you know what? That's okay. Alright, go for a heal right here. This will put an a nine. Oh. Interesting. Nine, huh? 
Does he have reduced healing? Oh, does this? Interesting. It still counts as a healing skill? Huh. Didn't know that, actually. Um, let's try and take him down. Yep. That ought to work. Now, triumph. Not gonna do a whole lot of damage, but we want to get him to the state where we can potentially finish him off, which I think he is now in range. We get a nice repost. He's going for yet another stun, but it's not going to work. Uh, we got some blighted vines. Okay. Um. You. Ah, uh, unfortunately didn't quite work out. We do have the repost up. Seven damage. I think we can actually execute that now. Speaking of execute, we're going to go for the crit on the back line. I'm a power hitter. Let's put a regen right here. He should be looking pretty much good to go. We're going to take an impale, but he gets a mega crit on the vine, so he does not care even remotely. And then we get a stress heal because he got a kill with triumph. Okay, unfortunately, we do not have a repost for that. A uh, little bit nasty. Not the end of the world. Um, I want to refresh my uses now while we still have a pretty good opportunity. Pretty much a guaranteed stun, but it does no damage, and then we are going to be able to triumph, get a little bit of a stress heal, get rid of that blight on Shatterhorn, replace it with a regen. Um, let's see, does this... No, it does not heal us. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go for free action, and then we're going to go for a repost. There we go, we're pretty much good to go. Oh boy. Alright. Um, regen here. And then I'm going to go for Piercing Slash right here since it has so much protection. So he only has 15%. <laughs> yeah. Uh, apparently that was a pretty good choice. We're not going to be able to guard. So just go for a little bit of damage. I think we can execute him next turn. Okay. Good dodge. Um... Reduce his damage a bit. He's now doing minus four damage on all of his attacks. Ceaseless labor. Hollow Keening, that is going to be a stress. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, though. Hopefully, we're able to pretty much power through it. This puts him in execute range. We also get a stun on him just in case he goes first. But he does not. A little bit more stress heal. We're going to move forward and try and do some damage to the Petrified Boy. But doesn't do nearly enough we do get a 10 crit and everybody else takes a little bit of damage because of where we were in the combo uh, we get a horror on us okay not amazing and uh, we do end up dodging the second one though so it's not going to be able to get any worse uh, we got a crystalline mirror we need to worry about now um yeah barely managed to hit that but we did end up landing it Let's go ahead and give ourselves some more damage and reduce how much damage this thing is doing. Okay. Um, let's move ourselves forward because Shatterhorn could just go straight to the first posi position. Uh, I actually want to kill you. That way we're taking a little bit reduced damage. Um, we are not going to be able to kill the mirror before the guy shows up to send us to the next zone, but that's perfectly fine. Okay, both goes on to Ghost. He does end up resisting it, though. And we do have an opportunity to kill the mirror before we have to go. So, let's go ahead and just do some AoE damage. Um, yeah, move forward. May as well kill that. Okay. Um, this guaranteed kills it. There we go. I don't think we get a heal since it was... Yeah, we do not. Um, And just try and get a little bit more damage. There's definitely... No chance we're going to kill it, especially when he's healing up. Um, plus the thingy is about to send us. Yeah. Sleeper's Dream. Beyond time and space. Okay, who gets the most? 15, 25. Okay, we ended up getting 21 Comet Shards for that. Let's go ahead and swap back. How bad are these horrors? Let's cure that one, and we're good to go. Dystopia. Oh, wow. That looked horrible from what I saw. Um, on attack, 48% of the time, it's a random target. 
Uh, when interacting with allies, we have a 28% chance to send it to a random person. Uh, we have an additional 35% if our stress is above 35. Plus 10 stress when we an, when we miss an attack. Minus 60% healing received if our stress is above 35. But we deal 50% more damage if our stress is above 35. Eh. Uh, monster effects. They have more crit and damage while afflicted. They have more dodge. 15 more dodge if below 60% health. And they get more healing received. Luckily, skellies don't really heal. Uh, well, this is uh, probably the worst effect we could have ever hoped for. Luckily, we're going to be doing a ton of damage. We're not about 35 anymore. Never mind. Okay. Graveyard slash. Ouch. 10 damage. You're hitting pretty hard. Um, let's go ahead. Yeah. Make everybody take some extra damage. Spear thrust. Good dodge. We do not want to be taking damage right now. Take him out. Heal a little bit of stress. Put another regen right here. Uh, we can't really kill you at the moment, so just try and go for the corpse. Unfortunately, it does not land. Um, let's wind ourselves up. Get ourselves back to the deal six to all. And why not? We'll stealth. That also prevents a crystal from forming. Graveyard slash! We didn't... Didn't we just kill those beasts? Uh, let's go ahead and move back. Okay, awesome. You love to see it. Let's put a regen up right here. Uh, put a guard up. Double repose should be really nice. Tempted goblet. That is probably going to put us above 35. Yep. Yeah, most certainly did it that. Um, everybody takes six damage. Oh, unless we miss. Spear thrust into a 13 repost. Oh, amazing. 12 repost. Holy moly, Shatterhorn is hitting very hard. Tempted goblet. This might... He just flat kills him. Okay, fair enough. Um, I want to kill you. You are in a position that we can't really hit that easily. This gives us a little bit of a stress heal as well as a regular heal, so we definitely like that. Put another regen on Chatterhorn because he's taking quite a bit of damage since he's blocking everything. We are not able to deal with you. Uh, yeah. All right. Unfortunate. We're not able to kill Skelly Boy. Ow. Okay, we're taking quite a bit of damage. Hopefully, we can get through this. It's a nightmare. A little bit more of a stress heal because we are starting to struggle just a little bit. Spit, that might hurt. Okay, we dodge it. It can't hurt if it doesn't land. Get rid of the maggot because we do not want any sort of disease if we can help it. Go ahead and put a regen here on Ghost and then... All right, that works for me. And also stealth us. And then we should be able to get a stress heal from Shatterhorn by killing the Skelly. Perfect. Let's go ahead and focus. There we go. That wastes our turn. Uh, oh, our quirk leveled up. Put another heal on Shatterhorn. And... Easiest stress heal of my life. And then why not? We'll go for that. The Sleeper's Dream. Okay, heal you, because you don't have a regen. Huh. Okay. We are on the regular farm. Ah. Huh. Only a little bit to go before we're at, uh, the miller. Oh, you're so... Oh. One more round. Uh, oh, guaranteed. Lumal. <laughs> oh, you really? Don't do it. <laughs> Weakness. Uh, <clears throat> see, 
What did I say? You were so weak you flinched at my attack. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that's that's what happened. <clears throat> yeah. Nothing a stress heal can't fix. Okay. A little more. Uh, we do not have the opportunity to do six to all, so may as well get a little bit of healing in. We're gonna need more gunpowder. Raw. Now it's time for you. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put a regen up because I'm pretty sure it's uh, about to end. Ah. Oh, you. You're lucky it's over. Oh. <laughs> Ha uh, ha! Yes. Ah, worry stone. Cool. Bonk, bonk, and we'll get money for the rest of the food. Here we go. Rejoice at the familiar sight. Oh, my wife. <laughs> you think I care about your woes? I only care about your farm. That's not true. I do care. Eh. Took that. The master beckons. Right, right. Um, more damage received? Yeah, why not? Oh, he resisted it. Well, you know what? He has less accuracy and less protection anyway. Uh, does this... Oh, it does. Okay. Hollow Keening. Oh. But I'm a hollow knight. Ah! <laughs> um, stun this. Nice. Okay. Um. Yeah, 13 damage. Can't go wrong with that. The Master Beckons. Okay, he's a little bit more difficult to hit now, but not impossible. Let's give ourselves some more crit. Ha ha ha. The Reaping. <laughs> the ground itself. Thirst for blood. Eh, take that. Flail the crops. Oh. <laughs> that is immensely painful. Um. Yeah, let's cure that. And also. Rah! Okay, we're out of juice. We're out of soul juice. We need to rejuvenate ourselves. Come on, you gotta be close to dying now. The reaping. Ow! Okay, you're starting to become an annoyance. I don't like you very much. Actually, yeah. Ugh! And your buddies! For justice. Yes, justice. Okay, you need a freaking lay off for a second. Ashes to ashes. Okay. That doesn't do any damage, so I'm not worried about it. Uh. Okay. Scary. Flail the crops. Uh, yeah, still can't guard. Kinda becoming an issue here. Okay, starting to become real scary. Real scary. Real, 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 real scary. Yeah, real scary. Okay, we going invisible now. <laughs> Anything to get away from this. Nope. Good triple dodge. Holy guacamole, Batman. Um, yeah, bro, you got to die. You are, uh, <laughs> you're stressing me out. Um, <sighs> Give ourselves more crit. Hopefully we can perform a sinister blow or something. Double dodge. Awesome. Love to see it. Uh, amazing. That being said, please die. You're not taking nearly enough damage. You're you're not even close to taking enough damage. Um, I, I want to actually heal Shatterhorn this turn. I know that might look a little weird, but... Raw. Finally, we get the guard up. Double repost is a go. Okay, 15. She's in a little bit of danger. Killing that actually might be bad. Yeah, for that reason right there. 
and he immediately gets a turn! Just such a cheater! <laughs> okay, only one thing to do. Actually, he's dead! 14! <laughs> okay. We're fine. Oh yeah, double kill! Um, please die! Please! Oh, wait, 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 wait! Kaboom. Oh! <gasps> okay, that started to get really close. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that got way too close, actually. But we are fine. We got a total of 93 Comet Shards. Holy. Uh, Wield Explorer. Eh. Unholy Slayer. Eh. Executioner. Ah. Love Interest. Oh, Shatterhorn. You dog. Something emerges from beneath the mill. A crystal... Something of a crystalline alienage emerges from the farmstead that was created by the comet. It roams in the surrounding regions. The crystalline harbinger will now roam the estate. Now then, to show you who we got that's new, we got the milkmaid, who is going to be extremely nice in this estate and... With his recent defeat, we've actually gotten the Miller to join us. It turns out having that locket was worth more than just debuffing him. We also got the Hollow Knight. Not to be confused with the Hollow Knight. <laughs> um, we got the Steel Driver, who should be quite nice. And we also got the Stargazer. As for people we got back... Um, we got Angie the Entrenched back. Warren of the Gaunt is now good to go. Uh, Leviathan is once again up. Simon is good to go. And all in all, I actually think that's everybody. Because uh, everybody else is relatively high level. So, anybody new? Uh, multiple stars. We also now have access to the uh, Crystal Mercenaries. Do any of you have anything nice? Like, real nice? No, not really. Deadly? That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Meh. Meh. That's what I have to say about that. Um, actually, one thing I do want to check, since he is so low level, um, it probably won't be a bad thing. Healer's Gift, Courtyard Tactician. Let's see, what do you have? Hippocratic. <coughs> Thick-blooded. Oh. And more stress versus husk. Eh, okay. I, that's not bad yeah it's not bad but uh it actually hippocratic could be really really good considering he has a decent amount of self-healing options huh you know what all right fair enough we will we'll set you free and then we'll bring you back see we just changed his armor it's fine now, what can we potentially... You know what? Oh, Ronald's dice. I... You know what? I kind of... I kind of want to get that. You know? what? I mean... Gamble? I'm just saying we could gamble it up. Now, let's see what else we could potentially grab. Uh, this for the milkmaid, it only cost 10. Um, debatably... Oh, there's a couple things I want here, actually. This for the Warlord could be really good. Uh, and a Shuffle Team, maybe. Debatably, I want the Ancestral Elixir. Because we get up to 60% healing from this, which is just completely fair and balanced. Um, Crystal Pendant could also be ridiculously good. Um, yeah. We could also get this. Um, it's a dream, so, you know crystal dream pretty cool and we do of course also have the options down here which are i mean they're pretty insane like j just look at this one uh, on being hit we have a 30 percent chance to heal five percent of our max health just just in general also when we're hit we have a chance to heal 12 stress and when we're hit we have a chance to stress heal everybody else like <laughs> that's just insane the only issue is it's 2,500 freaking crystals, 
But, you know, it's, it could be nice. Uh, this for the privateer could be absolutely busted. It's literally an Ancestor's Lucky Gold Frog, which is already just a ridiculously good trinket. Like, th there's so many options. There's so many good options that we could potentially have. But, for now, we must hold our tongue. Um, let's see. Endless Harvest. So, we can go potentially kill the, uh, Comet. Endless Harvest Hardcore. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to do that. Um, we also have... So, basically, we have a ton of Farmstead quests now. Um, what I'm thinking of doing... This is for the Miller. More melee, more melee. Oh, it's actually pretty nice. Now, where's... Here it is. Thing from the Stars and the Crystal Boy are both in the ruins, funnily enough. Um... I've never actually fought Crystal Man, so I don't know if we should really go fight him right now. I'm actually debating... You know what? I might actually go on a survival harvest just to see how we do. Um, We could potentially get some people to level... S I was going to say level max. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not wrong. They will go up to max level. Um... I actually, I think Sally will be really, really bad in the farmstead because of her one use per battle. Um, after one fight, she literally can't do anything for the rest of the farmstead. So we're almost never going to take her um, because she's unfortunately quite worthless there. Uh, what we could do, I'm going to take Chrissy. And then I'm going to take some people who are not max level. Sombor, Bulwark, and who do we want in the fourth position? Could do Flinch. We could also bring someone a little lower level uh, if we're feeling risky. I did, well, no, she needs to be more in the front. I was going to say we could bring the stars because she's actually quite um, durable, but I don't think she's that durable. Uh, it's level four. What if we just bring extra healing? Then again, we have to remember the golem will not be healed by traditional means. Um, we could bring Middleton. Yeah? Hmm. Interesting. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm going to give Middleton a charge, because for the most part, we just use battle and pistol shot, so why not? And Wait. Was that unique dialogue? She was like, the Herald, why is he coming back to me now? Oh. I mean, it makes sense. I don't know why I didn't realize it okay so she literally has unique dialogue just for the we should bring her here more often why did i never think of that that was dumb of me <laughs> well regardless sombo the slayer with the husk consuming crystals the cluster pendant uh, spike, sabbat, biting blade rip and tear until it is done bound for glory Bulwark the Golem, with Mildred's Locket, Focus Ring, Bisect, Concuss, Rebuild, and Incinerate. We then have Chrissy the Crystalline Herald, with the Crescent Luna Moth, Crystalline Tonic, uh, Protective Shells, Cleansing Crystals, Reality Bend, and Temporal Crystals, just in case. And then, of course, Middleton the Hussar, with the Mace of Insidious Plague, because RNG... Uh, Azure Blue Ring, because I actually have a little bit of a theory. Uh, Raid, Charge, Battle of Clusen, and Pistol Shot. You know what time it is. Now, I want to see if this actually works the way I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does, but uh, we're still going to see. What's your stun resist? Oh my god, that's a stun for... The entire rest of his life. 
It does work. Completely broken. Busted. <laughs> Dude, that is so unbelievably strong. That is broken beyond belief. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Alright, I've decided. <laughs> the Hussar is literally broken. He is so freaking strong, dude. Okay, so. What I'm about to show you. Might just outrank the Hood. In terms of dodge. It might outrank... Who's a super stress-resistant character? I can't actually think of one. Uh, I don't know. A character who takes no stress damage. It might be more strong than them. Accuracy? <laughs> Completely off the charts. You thought Lilith couldn't miss. Well, take a look at these bad boy stats. 88 dodge, 44 accuracy, 33% crit, Minus 165% stress for the entire battle. Um, yeah, so this... Yeah, when it says buff target, it means for the entire battle. I thought it was like maybe a couple turns at best, but no, it's the entire battle. Combined with the fact that it has a chance to give you an extra action... Yeah, this gets that hand real quick. So, uh, let's just see if the enemies can hit us. 101 dodge. 119 dodge. <laughs> oh, you poor, poor things. You clearly do not understand the power of a good commander. Look at this, dude. Look at this freaking baloney. Oh my god, <laughs> so broken! Oh my... Dude, it's so broken. Combined with the fact we have the Azure Blue Ring, we're just getting so much healing too. Look at it, dude! It's still going! What can I say? 120 dodge is completely balanced. It's completely... <laughs> Dude, this is so unbelievable. I cannot believe how strong this freaking class is. Like, okay, I knew he was strong being able to take away actions and stuff. But he, this, oh my. It's, it, look at it. Nothing can hit us. Yeah, just free repose damage, you know. You know how it goes. Here, let's just buff up a little more. Oh, hey, we got another action. Here, let's just buff up a little more. Oh, hey, we got another action. Here, why don't we just buff up a little more? Ah, gosh darn, no extra action. I guess I'll just have to work with three actions on both the Crystalline Herald and the Slayer. Combined with the, what, two extra actions we got on him? Man, never lucky, am I right? I wish I could actually get some value out of this character, but, uh, gosh darn, he's just, you know, ah, uh, I hate how well balanced he is, even though we're basically permanently critting now. Graveyard Slash! What's that? You can't hit me at all? Well, sounds like a you problem there, bud. Maybe you should get some more accuracy. <laughs> like mine. I have 189 accuracy on the Golem. What do you mean that's not busted? Ah, so yeah, um, he's a little bit strong. What did we finish at? 144 dodge, 72 accuracy, 54% crit, and minus 270% stress. By the way, we could just do it more. Huh. Finally. A balanced character. This is what I've always wanted. You know, when I when I talk about balance, this is it. Also, these extra turns have done fantastic for buffing up uh, Bound for Glory. Which is the big reason I keep going for the self-heal, because it increases our crit by 3%. Also, I found out, if the Golem kills the Crystals, he actually gets healing twice. Which is really nice. He gets healing from the crystal and from his passive. Oh, they all dodge the, the sleeper. 
Yeah, okay. Bandage. Antivenom. Curses. Who's getting the most? You. There's nothing interesting. Well, I mean, that sucks. I'm pretty sure we needed a shovel. Now, unfortunately, we don't have our mega buff anymore, but, uh... Does it matter? Because we just do this... And, uh, bam! It's already stacking again. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this character is, um... <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't use him as much. No, you know what? That's weakness. Instead of that, we should just make the estate harder. We should add more. More difficult things. By the way, I did end up adding Doomsday, so, uh... You never know, Doomsday was actually really difficult, so maybe we'll meet our match sooner rather than later. That being said, though, um, we're kind of ridiculously strong. At this point, we could probably go take on the last few vermin, but going through the farmstead has actually been a really, really good way to farm up a bunch of levels, as well as getting the um, crystals, which is letting us buy the super cool stuff. Sorry, I have hiccups. That's why I'm pausing between my words. Um, I get, like, kind of silent hiccups. Every so often, I'll get the hiccups where I'm like, Ugh! you know, but um, I don't know. I've always gotten silent hiccups. Then again, I'm also the kind of person that sneezes through my mouth, not my nose. So, I guess I'm just weird. I didn't even get to... Oh, dude! My Bound for Glory was so stacked up! No! Oh, I'm more disappointed about not being able to shoot it off than freaking than it ending. Oh, uh, it was at like 350 percent damage and 75 percent crit chance, dude. I was looking to eviscerate an upcoming just any boss at all. Uh, unfortunately, it was not to be. Look at that! 450 and 75! Ah, that's so annoying! What does matter, though, we got, like, over 200 Comet Shards. We also got 45k gold, uh, the Serrated Blade, and 35 Crests. That is pretty solid, as well as multiple level 6s. Courtyard Scrounger, meh. Husk Slayer, perfect. Last Gasp, okay. Love Interest. Hmm. The glow from the farmhouse. The light of the farmhouse has illuminated the dark forest. You can go exploring. However, the light gives an extra advantage in the next mission. Wow. Also, gambling dice. 2,000. We've already made up a little bit of our gold. And it looks like one of our new people has arrived. Okay, so you're probably going to judge me. I'm, uh... I'm already expecting judgment, but if there's any estate for a cosmic horror abo above my imagination, cosmic horror beyond my human comprehension, my mortal comprehension of human... <laughs> it's, al it's already taken effect. Behold! The Ancient Ones. Um, she's a little bit looter than I was thinking. Uh, but, you know what? We might use her, we might not. I haven't really decided. Um, I was asked a while back if I could do a Lilith-type video with her. So, I mean, I figure I, I need to give her a play at some point. So, you know, it may as well be here, right? Um, however, I am going to leave it up to you guys. What do you think? Should she stay in the estate, or is she, in fact, worse than Lilith? Let me know what you think, um, because, okay, for, now, to be fair, you guys voted to keep the dragon blood, so I have a feeling about what you might think about the Ancient Ones, though, I mean, I don't know, I could be surprised, I mean, so far... I keep thinking that you guys will say no, and you keep saying yes, so um, maybe this time will be different as well. But I'm going to ask regardless, do you think the Ancient Ones should have a permanent stay in this estate? Obviously, we haven't used her yet. Um, or do you think she should go bye-bye because she too lewd? Uh, but 
considering Lilith and the Dragonblood have both stayed in estates, I, I have a feeling. But, hey, whatever you guys have the majority vote for, whether it's stay or go, I will honor it. That, I swear to you. Well, it just wouldn't be right to have a vote without using her at least once. I mean, we used the Dragonblood at least once, so, you know, we're gonna use her at least once. <laughs> Give her a little bit of time to shine. We shall see what happens, though. We bring the Miller, the Miller, with the Rat Ogre Teeth Necklace, Skaven Tome, the Harvest, the Reaping, Day Off, and Immortal Beloved. We then bring Phantom, the Hollow Knight, Get it because the other one's ghost? Ha 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 ha! With the focus ring, the Skaven, Tome, Warcry, Pugilism, Stofia, and Tombstone. Sorelia, the Ancient Ones, with the Mace of Insidious Plague, Commander's Compass, because I have no idea how she plays, so I figure we may as well play safe. All of her abilities. And I don't think we're using her legit name, but Evelyn, the Milkmaid. Um, is her name actually Evelyn? I don't remember. Uh, we'll use her real name unless somebody claims her as a character. Um, with the Lost Bracelet, the Field Medkit, Cosmic Trident, Celestial Javelin, Comets, Kindness, and Glimmering Butterfly. Now, I think this thing from the stars is around here. I'm not sure. But we're certainly gonna find out, aren't we? Uh, first things first. Ooh, she has a blue health bar, too. She's now the second one with that. Uh. Husk body. Okay, we take a little bit of damage. That is okay. Now, what I'm curious to see, does the milkmaid's health turn blue as well? I don't know. Actually, we have so many characters who have husk body now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Which is completely fine with me. But, what are you gonna do? Um, immune to disease, not affected by food. Yes. Okay. So, now it's time for the Ancient Ones. What do these abilities even do? I don't actually know. Uh, Disaster. Get one charge, debuff enemies. Gaze. Uh, bypass stealth, get one charge. Party gets one over three. Um, debuff enemies minus accuracy. Change to mode clarity. Um... We could potentially stun. We get two charge for that. And touch, which pulls two. Um, let's gaze. Charge one for the quest. Okay, I'm not fully sure what that means, but immortal beloved. Did her wings get bigger? Maybe that's what it means. Maybe Charge gives her bigger wings. I don't know. Pugilism! Beat them down! Oh, boy. Rend for the old gods. Well, you're looking at the new gods now, considering this is effectively a full crystalline team. Um, let's go ahead and get a free heal here. And debatably, we should heal here. But, meh. Okay, he's dealt with. Rem for the old gods. Your damage means nothing. Okay, put a bleed on him. I think it's one over three? Yes, it is. Okay, we got new abilities now. Uh, Prey, gain two charge. Party gets healed and gets a regen. Buff all believers. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, fog, get one charge. Target gains... Stealth and a regen. If it's a believer, gain 35 accuracy. Change to mode reverberate. Uh, focus. Gain one charge. Target gains 15 stress. Other heroes minus 15. If target is afflicted, greatly reduce the stress penalty. Buff all believers with one dodge, 10 speed, and reverberate. Witness. Change to mode Ode. Evolved to Born. 5% uh, max HP, immune to Crimson Curse. After evolving the current level, activate... Needs 27 charge. This needs charge to start. Uh, let's try it. Born again. So what'd that do? Let me... I want to look at her. Born. 
Uh, immune to Crimson Curse. Plus 5% max HP. Requires 27 charge to evolve. Okay. Um, beyond crazy. Mandatory stun and remove the target for one round. What? I mean, he's gone because he's dead. Aww. I don't really know if that counts, though. She's got so much stuff. Okay, hang on. Incursion. <coughs> uh, okay. Wow, she's got a lot to her. Uh, talk about a complicated character. Well, we'll get her figured out, maybe. Or we might not. I don't know. This truly is a place of madness. Uh, you know, in a way, it's actually really fitting that uh, that she makes you mad. Is my blue light coming on? No. Okay, sorry. Uh, when it, Whenever it turns 2.30, my computer turns on this uh, blue light. And the torch going down made me think that my blue light was coming on. So I was like, there is no way I've been recording for like <laughs> for five hours or something. No, it's still like nine o'clock not even ten um reap <laughs> oh um crush crush their resolve maybe i should do the tip with voice for her oh nothing a trap jab jab won't fix can we take him out unfortunately we take out the stunned one fire in the hole Fire in the hole. Okay, good dodge, good dodge. Um, let's see. Gaze. Oh, we missed. So does that mean we don't change forms if we miss? Uh, let's go for the butterfly here, and then we can go for the regular heal right here. So I'm in, yeah, I'm interested to know, do we not change form because we missed? It would make sense. I mean, if you miss, you shouldn't really get rewarded for it, but you never know. Um, we shall see when the turn comes around. Fire in the hole! <laughs> Literally, he said, burn it with fire! <laughs> Blow it away! Oh, we do still change, okay. Uh, good to know. Let's see. Let's go for prey. Believer. Interesting. So what is believer? Let me... Believer. Uh, 20% blight resistance. What, when afflicted, slight improvements to all stats. When wearing a dream trinket, immune to debuff and slight... What? Dude, believer with hope? What? Because this eventual... Eventually, sorry, the hiccups are still around. Um, this becomes like 10% to all stats and 10% to all resistances, I think. So even if this is like 1%, that's still, if, if your dude's doing 11 damage, well, okay, maybe it's not as OP as I think, but still free stats, like free stats is a very powerful thing. So, I mean, that, that just seems pretty good to me. Also, I'll take that stress heal. Ah, much better. Foreigner. And then we got a bunch of food. Dude, we have way too much food. Uh, debatably, we will be camping in this one. Okay, I'll take that. Awesome. Amazing. Epic. Two more to go. Ow! Okay, that's fine. I don't mind. I don't care at all. You think I care just because a trap hits me? No, I don't, I don't even care a little bit. Um, oh, tempting goblet. Good dodge. We don't want that hitting us. Uh, all right. Uh, that doesn't hit us either. What can I say? 20 dodge, OP. To be fair, we are in a level one dungeon, so 20 dodge is actually quite substantial. Um, let's see. So we are at six charge, and we need 27? Yeah, 27. So... Taking her to the farmstead is not a bad idea, because she could potentially get a lot of charge throughout it. Or just a really long dungeon, I suppose. Uh, let's go for incursion. Give her a little whack of the tail. Okay, a little stress heal, because we crit. 
Uh, finish her off. Never mind. We didn't want to land that. Anyway, let's go for the butterfly right here. And then let's put a regen right here. Dude, Milkmaid is such a reliable healer. She is just so solid. Like, I haven't used Milkmaid in quite some time, but she is so reliable. <laughs> I, I'm really happy to be using her again, I gotta be honest. All the themed estates means I can't just use all my personal favorites. Um, Milkmaid is definitely like... She's up there, top 10. Because I have, I have quite a few favorites, let's be honest. But uh, she's just a really, really good healer. I don't know if she's... No, she, she probably is better than the Grove Tender, although I think I prefer the Grove Tender just because of the healing received. Now, uh, Ripple. Uh, one target per hit absorb. What? So we just steal stats, seemingly? Uh, getting charged. Life steal 100%. Woo! Um... Yes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Now, she, the, uh, the old ones, has a lot of different forms, so I think we're barely even scratching the surface with her, but you know what? We, we're, we're making it work. The Reaping! Oh. He needs more accuracy. That's what we need to do. Okay, so let's go to Clarity. Also give everybody a little bit of a regen. Okay, once it's our turn again, we will see what we do. Go for him, potentially blight him. Oh, yeah, he's down. Okay. Um, you know what? Immortal beloved, my beloved wife. That's a stun. Uh. Okay, unfortunate. Not the end of the world. Ow. I would appreciate it if you stopped whacking me, though. That would be quite nice. Okay. Um, can't hit either of them, so get rid of the mark. And regen. Look at that. Look at that. That is just so good. Also, 100% armor piercing. You'll love to see it. Um, focus. Eh. I don't think I want to do that yet, actually. Um, hmm. We get two charge from this. Okay, we got another believer. <laughs> oh boy. We can, oh, wait, dude. Okay, not that I, not that I'm saying anything, but technically, in the Crimson Court Estate, we're gonna have like. Two? Yeah. Two separate cults going on at the same time, being, of course, uh, the Darkspawn and the Crimson Curse. What if we had three cults going at the same time? You know what I mean? There's potential there. What, what if we had, what if we just put, uh, put three cults down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> well, let's see if we can find another, uh, quest item. There is one below us. And we do not know where the final one is just yet. What are we at charge-wise? 12. I uh, don't think we're going to hit our 27 mark. Uh, I'll get rid of the food, honestly. We have way, way too much food. Also, we could have just done that. That was big dumb of me. Okay, klepto. Uh, 80, 40, 50. Alright. 80% miss. Awesome. Awesome. Watch your step. Why don't you watch your mouth? I don't know. Oh, by the way, um, are you guys having this bug with this particular room? Look, right here in the left, there's it's a missing texture, and then in the top left, it's another missing texture. Am I the only one experiencing that, or is that like everybody? Because I don't know when it started, but it won't go away. Actually, if we're done right here. Do we have a prevent nighttime? Yes, we do. You know what? May as well camp. See if we can get anything cool. Okay. Uh, we can also stress heal a little bit. Okay. Uh, insomnia. Eh, actually, does she have anything? 
If afflicted, minus 45. And we're done. Wait, secret room? No. Well, that was nice and quick. We got barely any gold. Um, we did get a couple good levels. Clotter is okay. And Stout is probably not great on him. All Saints Day for me? Wow. Also, multiple other ancient ones. Do they have better stats? Uh, steady, obsessed with cleanliness. Okay. Thick-blooded, standard bearer. Ooh, fear of rat, though. You know what, though? Standard bearer actually seems real good. Um, especially because we haven't leveled up hope yet. I'm actually willing to make that exchange. Uh, so let's do... Boop. Plus level one, either way. So that works out for me. Any cool things? Not really. And anything we want to buy with our shards. Technically... We could, uh, you know what I mean? We could, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll see what you guys think about keeping her uh, for the moment. Also, I did end up removing um, Crystalline Light. Uh, it just kept causing the game to crash. So, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to play with it much longer. Um, it was nice while it lasted. And I did enjoy it, but with our particular setup of mods, it just wasn't quite working out. So, unfortunately, we did have to remove that. Um, maybe we could find something to replace it, but, you know, it it's better to just not have something that's crashing. Um, I'm going to do the Smoldering Hurricane Lamp, and what else do I potentially want? Uh, let's see. Jeez, we have so many crystals to work with. Um, can't be guarded. You know what? Marisha's Glutton? Thinking about it. Thinking about it. I actually think I'm going to save up and potentially get the Coat of Many Colors and the Miller's Pipe. Because they're just really, really good um, for farmstead stuff. So, we'll wait on it. We got quite a few cool things. But... I believe that is going to do it for this episode of the Steampunk Estate. It's probably a little bit longer than I would have wanted. You know what? I Why do I keep... D dude, I keep having this... I'm not even... Uh, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. You know what I'm going to say. I'm not even going to say it. Um, so, what I will say... Let me know if you think we should keep the Ancient Ones. Uh, Sorelia seems to be already making a cult around herself, which is uh, wonderful. Um, but <laughs> I don't know if she might be a little bit too much for you guys or if she's not enough considering some of the other characters that we've let through. But let me know. Give me your honest thoughts. If you don't want her to stick around, we'll get rid of her. If you want her to stick around, it looks like we have a cult brewing on our hands. And, of course, I will go with either one. Also, if it were up to me, I'd probably just keep her. I gotta be honest. I mean, <laughs> I played with Lilith for so long and I played with Dragonblood for a fair amount of time that I'm like... You know, there are worse things on the Darkest Dungeon uh, uh, workshop. Let's just say that. <laughs> but um, regardless, that is going to do it for this episode of the Steampunk Estate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.